this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today in this video, I am going to be joined, as I always am, by Mr. L4. Wait, wait a minute. You're, you're not Elfily, you're not a bear, but let's stick squid. What are you doing in Lee's room? <laughs> what are you doing? Is he up there? Is, is Elfily up there? Is he up there baking my cake? No, no, is it, is, is it just you? <laughs> well, have you, have you at least got my breakfast for me? Have you got me a nice big tasty cake? Is that what you've been doing? Have you been up there all night baking me a big cake for a nice surprise? No, no, well, have you got me anything for breakfast? You got me a pork chop or an apple? Pork chop for an apple. I mean, it's it's no cake, but I suppose this is, this is just going to have to do. Oh, and an ink sack. So is my ink sack my breakfast? <laughs> oh, I miss Lee. Well, I'm going to eat the apple. Tell you what, as a special treat, you can have the ink sack. There we go. There's a nice present for you. I'm going to have a nice pork chop as well. <laughs> anyway, certainly Elfa Lee isn't going to be joining us in this video, but we are going to be joined by Ballistic Squid, uh, Amy and uh, Finball, uh, who are currently over at my fun land, which is where I am going to be heading in one momento. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to do what I always do and add someone to my love garden. And this is basically a place uh, where I, I look at a sign with someone's name on and I say thank you to them for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, so today I'm adding uh, three people, actually. Uh, I am adding uh, Erin, Ryan and Fian, uh, who sent me a uh, video of them doing a song, uh, which was like the uh, the Bob the Builder theme tune, but uh, a Stampy Longnose version saying, Stampy Longnose, can he build it? Uh, yes, he can. And they had a whole dance routine and uh, they did it absolutely amazing. They even had the, the lyrics that they wrote coming up on screen and I thought it was fantastic. So uh, if you do want to go check it out, uh, there'll be a link in the description to the video, uh, so you can go and watch it uh, for yourselves. Anyway, also in this video, as well as my Minecraft helpers, I'm going to be joined by my Minecraft dogs and my Minecraft kitty cat. And so I'm going to go and uh, pick which one uh, I want to take with me today. And today I think I want to be joined by an... What are, you what are you doing up there, Duncan? Oh, what's up? Doesn't Duncan look really upset today? Are you okay, buddy? Tell you what, seeing as you're not looking too good, seeing as you've got a long nose, uh, well, a long face, I should say, uh, you can join me in today's video, and hopefully by the end of the video, uh, we will be able to, to cheer him up. I wonder what's up with him. Anyway, let's go and uh, grab Mittens then, because uh, she can join us for the, the video as well. So I'm going to head up here uh, to my kitty cat condo, and yeah, go and get her. And so Mittens, where are you? Are you hiding again, Mittens? She always does this. It's such a small house, but she always finds a, a little sneaky place to hide somewhere around here. Is she up in her bedroom? Oh, she's not here. Oh, what's this? Gone on holiday, don't look for me. Meow, your cat. Mittens has, Mittens has gone on holiday? Since when did cats go on holiday? And since when did cats, like, be able to write signs? Oh, I guess, I guess Mittens has, Mittens has left me. Oh, hopefully she's not going to go on holiday for too long. Oh, oh, maybe that's why Duncan's so upset. Is that why you're so upset, Duncan? What? Is that why you're so upset? Oh, poor Duncan jumping up and down there on the leaf. Right, I know what will cheer you up, Duncan. Let's dive into the water. You ready? Big run up this time. Three, two, one, go! And woo! And come on, Duncan, you can follow after me, boy. Where is he? Where is Duncan? He's still up on the tree. Oh, there he goes. Whoa, that was that was very quick of you. <laughs> and his tail's wagging a little bit. He still looks a little bit upset, but his tail wagging uh, was wagging just a, a tiny bit there. And hello, Squid. Are you okay? <laughs> anyway, my last video... Um, I was building the uh, the um, the crazy cow milk bar, which uh, I completely finished now. Uh, I've added a, a sign at the front saying "crazy cow milk bar," but I don't think I don't think anything else has changed. I think I added some some bottles to the brewing stand, but apart from that, everything's exactly the same. And did you want some milk, by the way? Oh, careful, careful! No, 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 don't, don't, squid, squid, stop it! Don't, there's a cow up there. Be really, really careful. Don't drop the cow. Lee, go to the other side, squid. You can be a customer. I'll get you a drink of water if you want. Uh, I um a bucket of milk. Sorry, if I go get a, a bucket here. Uh, I, I can go and serve you some, so uh, I would ask you what you want, but we only serve one thing, so it's going to be milk or nothing, I'm afraid. There you go. Very, very fresh glass of milk there for you, <laughs> courtesy of the uh, the crazy cow. <laughs> He's having a nice sip of it. Uh, so yeah, um, we're now going to be going and heading over to my fun land uh, to build a brand new mini game, and this is one that I'm uh, really looking forward to building, actually. Um, it's going to be called Berry Berry, and the idea is we're all squirrels, and we got to bury berries, and then the other team has to find them. So there's going to be two uh, kind of like rooms, but it's going to look like they're inside of a forest. And there's going to be a tree in the middle with five berries on. And uh, you've got to get the berries off the tree, and you hide them under the floor. And then once you've buried them all, you switch rooms with the other team who would have been doing the same. And it's going to be the first person to find all five of the other person's berries. They get to win the minigame. And so, yeah, that's what we're going to be building today. And uh, I'm going to be doing it, as I said, with the uh, the help of Finball and Amy and uh, Ballistic Squid as well, who should be following behind. 
behind me. And of course you, Duncan. Are you feeling any better? He doesn't look happy, does he? Look at him. He looks he looks still kind of upset. It's not it's not the Duncan I know. He's normally always happy when Mittens is here. I can't believe she just went on holiday. She didn't even tell me anything about it. Well, I hope she's gone somewhere nice. And hello, Amy. <laughs> oh, she's got a, a little pool of water in her. She doesn't want to dry up being a mermaid. She's got a little pool of water. And thank you for my lovely jubblies, madam. Thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, let's not waste any time. Let's go and uh, start building. You can uh, sit down out of the, uh, the way there, Duncan, and you can watch us uh, while we do all the work. That's always the way it is. You never have to do any work. And hello, Finball. That was a bit of a dramatic entrance. Diving down from the heavens. Where was he? Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Good afternoon, dear king. <laughs> right, let's start building then. So each room is going to be uh, 19 by 19. So if I just count uh, 19 blocks along here, uh, it's going to be two squares. And so then it's going to be 19 blocks on the other side as well. And there's a little room down there, uh, which um, Longbow built a, uh, a long time ago. So... Um, <laughs> that was just uh, full of a few beds and stuff. I had to destroy that just so we could build the game. But uh, I think that's 19 along that way. So if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There we go. <laughs> and then if we go and do the same along this side, we basically need to big, uh, dig a big pit here. And then we're going to put stone at the bottom and then two um, rows of dirt above that. And so then that's going to be where the, the berries are hidden. So you can only hide them one block deep, uh, because if you could uh, hide them any deeper, then it might be a, a little bit too hard to find them, and the game would go on for so long. And the thing I love about this game is there is almost, almost zero redstone. It's so easy. Literally anyone could build this game. All it is is two rooms, and then you just hide berries under the floor. That's how simple it is. But we're going to try and make it look cool. We're going to build um, oakwood blocks all around the place, and uh, then we're going to cover it in like branches and leaves and stuff, uh, just to try and make the uh, the whole place uh, look really cool. And uh, then, as I said, in the middle, we're going to build like a fake tree and uh, cover, with, uh, cover it with the berries. And then the only slightly redstone thing is in the very middle, uh, there'll be a button. And when you press the button, it will set off some, uh, it will set off a note block. And then once you've done your note block, that basically means the other team or other person, if you're just having two people, uh, only has another 10 seconds uh, in order to finish burying their berries. Uh, so what you could do, are you okay there, Amy? <laughs> oh no, we're going to have to get rid of your water. We're going to, you're going to have to move your water somewhere out the way here, Amy. We can't have a mermaid in the middle of the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, and I've completely lost track of what I was talking about. And Finball, you seem to be going pretty deep down there. <laughs> we only need to go, uh, we need to go three blocks down, I think. And then we just need to, um, we need to put the, the stone on the underneath there. And then once we've started putting the ground in, uh, I'm going to go and start trying to build the, um, build the tree. So this is only going to build half of it. We're going to try and get uh, half of it completely built in this video. And then in the next video, we're basically going to do the exact same, uh, but on the other side. And so we need to go. So this is just one block. We've only gone one block down this 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 far so far. Squid, where are you? We need Squid. What we need is Elfer Lee. He is always the most dedicated and hardened Minecraft helper. But sadly, uh, he wasn't able to uh, to join us in the in the game today. But uh, don't worry, uh, I'm sure he's going to be back uh, in the next video to to carry on helping out. And then what we're going to do before the end of the video is that we're going to go and play Crystal Waters, uh, which is my Dodgems game, which I built absolutely ages ago. And I know a lot of you uh, won't have seen me. Uh, playing it and it's basically like king of the hill and uh, we're gonna have a little game of that at the end just for fun just because um i never feel like i, I play my games enough i always spend my time building so at the end of the video we can go uh, over and play that anyway i might start uh, placing in some of the the stone walls so it's going to be stone the uh, the whole way around the outside and then on top of that stone is going to be uh, where all of the um where all of the the oak planks are going to be and i got so much sand here it's actually really good because i'm always running out of sand uh, because uh, if you put uh, sand in the furnace that's um uh, that's where you uh, get the um yeah, sorry, that, that's where you get uh, glass from, sorry. And so we need to do, is this, I think it's supposed to be stone on the outside here. I think Finball's put some dirt in, but it doesn't really matter. I do have a, a whole load of dirt so I can start uh, filling it all in. We just need to go one more down. Okay, there we go. Squid, Squid, we need your help. We need us all digging just so we can get this done. And uh, what I'm actually going to do, because this is taking way longer than I thought, I'm going to speed up the video until we've dug out this entire pit. Then I'm going to carry on when I can go and start building the tree. So I'll be back in just one second.
Okay, we have almost finished filling it all in now. That took about five times as long as I thought it would take. <laughs> oh dear, everyone's been doing absolutely great though. So what you can see is we basically built kind of like a swimming pool with stone. But instead of filling it full of nice water that we can jump in playing, uh, I've basically completely filled it up with dirt. <laughs> and so what we're going to do is we're going to put a few uh, grass dirt blocks down on top of this. So the entire place is going to get spread with dirt. So when you go to, to bury the berries, as you break the block, it will become dirt rather than grass. And so, whoa! <laughs> That's a way to interrupt my sentence. <laughs> oh dear, at least I only was bro uh, blowing up a, a load of dirt. Right, Duncan, you can come stand up. Did you see him jumping to attention there? You can come join me and you can, you can keep my eye out in case there's any more googlies coming out. <laughs> oh dear, at least it didn't uh, destroy too much. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying, so basically you can try and be sneaky. So you could try and like break a, a few blocks in the floor to make people think that you've buried a berry down there, uh, but you actually haven't. And so that, that's going to be a part of what the game is. And there we go. I think I've pretty much run out of dirt. We've got a few final blocks. And then that's this uh, entire place done. So uh, I'm going to go and start building uh, the tree in the, the middle. And then uh, everyone else is going to start building the walls uh, just to make this uh, whole place look like a forest. So uh, I need to work out the, the middle, which uh, let me just try and do it roughly. Let's just see if I can just guess the exact middle. I used to be quite good at this. I'm going to guess about here. Do you reckon this looks like the middle? I don't know. It might be a little bit wonky. Uh, so if yeah, they're, they're, they're all over the stone blocks. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I might have actually done this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, oh, I was this going to be so it needs to be there. There we go. This uh, should be the exact middle there. I was one block off one block off. And so I'm going to build a tree here. And then this tree is just going to have uh, a whole load of um of red berries and then the other side's going to be blueberries just to, uh, to make it different so you know which side is which. So I'm just going to kind of build uh, a few random twigs like this then I'm going to go and uh, cover the uh, entire thing in oak leaves to make it look like uh, my own little custom tree. If I go around like this and then up like this. It's amazing how many trees I build. Like I built all my melon trees. I built a tree for uh, the kitty cat condo. Like I feel like I'm just always building trees. I'm getting quite good at just building <laughs> building trees even though it's one of the things that naturally grows in the world anyway. And the best way to do it's just to try and do it like as random as possible and uh, then that way it's uh, got a good chance of looking natural if I have another branch coming down like this maybe like that does that kind of look like a tree it never looks like a tree until you cover it with leaves but uh, I do have uh, a whole load of uh, oak blocks around here so if I go and uh, I just do all the ones on the underneath for now and uh, then I'll pile back up and get the top and uh, when you're doing the leaves all you want to do is just any wood you see just cover it and uh, that is the best way to, to make it look natural. You can add a few more random ones over the place as well. But I always find if you just cover just all of the, the faces of wood, uh, then that is the, the best way to have just enough leaves. If I go break that put that back down there, and then if I pile back up. Actually, what I'm going to do before I hop back up, I'm going to add my berries. There's going to be uh, five berries on each side. Now, are you okay, Squid? <laughs> are you Are you all right? Uh, oh, yeah, a, a doorway. Is that what you're talking about? Um, yeah, yeah, just keep, you can build up even higher than that if you want. Uh, if that's what you're trying to ask, uh, you can build, build up a little bit taller than that and uh, add uh, leaf blocks all over the place. We want to make sure there's no cheating and uh, we want to make sure that no one can get from one side to the other. And there will be uh, a doorway here. This will be like a, a little entrance way here. Uh, chunk problem. <laughs> I guess Squid had a, a bit of trouble coming over. All right, let's add my berries then. I'm going to have one, two, three four and then I have another one uh, maybe just here for now so it's looking a bit horrible and dead at the moment but uh, once I've uh, covered all of the the rest of the uh, the twigs and leaf blocks it should make it uh, look a little bit better so if I just go and uh, hop up here like this I can go and start placing some along there I quickly hop up here and uh, go and kind of cover it all on here and then the tree on the other side is going to be almost the same but as I said it's going to have blueberries and I'm going to use a, a different type of uh, leaf I might use spruce, uh, spruce leaf blocks rather than uh, oak just uh, just to make it look a bit different and for the uh, the whole side as well because it's all going to look like a, a little mini forest I'm just going to use a, a different type of leaves just so you can easily tell uh, which side is which and there's going to be a method for when you win because I'm trying to have as little redstone as I can instead of pulling a lever or something if you win and you manage to get all of the berries you've got to put them down in the little entrance area and you then need to run into the other person's side and start doing a little dance jumping up and down and saying yay i won yay i won like that that is the that is the the method for informing the um the other players that you you were able to win the game and i think i've almost uh, covered this uh, entire place and um, even though it was slower than i expected i think we have done uh, quite a lot of progress and what i'm going to do is outside of the video uh, we're going to build the other side uh, seeing as we're pretty much building the exact same thing 
thing twice. Uh, I thought it'd be boring if you had to, to see me doing it twice in a row. So uh, we're going to finish this one off and then we can go play uh, uh, Crystal Waters. And then uh, outside of the video, I'm going to build the other side. And then that way we'll be able to hopefully uh, have a little mock-up tester game in my next video. So I've just got uh, a few more leaf blocks to place up there. And I think there's a, a few one or two places that I've missed up there. But I'm not going to worry about that too much. Oh, can I get it? Do you reckon I can get that last one? Oh, there we go. I was just about able to jump high enough. And if I get that one, oh, no, I did that in the wrong place. Big jump. Oh, there we go. I could be a basketball player. And all I've missed one up here. The more I look at the tree, the more spaces I'm going to see where I where I missed one. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, should, should we have a break then? I think we've done some some pretty good progress here, but I want to go and play the rapid. So uh, it's basically going to be this room exactly the same on the other side. I'd go and get all the berries. I'd break them out the tree. And uh, once I've broken out the tree, I would... Oh, where did it go? I've dropped, my, I've dropped my berries. I'd go like this and I'd hide it down here like that. And then I'd go and get the dirt and I'd cover it back up. And then they'll need to come in and try and find where it is. And I've already kind of forgot where it is. It's somewhere down here. There we go. But it would be a lot um, easier to find them uh, just because it would be all grass. And as I said, you're going to see when all the, the grass has been uh, all mucked up and looks like dirt instead. So I'm going to place the berry back in the tree. And then let's all go and have a game of uh, Crystal Waters. And uh, it's over here, guys, if you want to come and follow me. And uh, there's four different teams. Uh, I think it's yellow, blue, red, and green. Uh, I'm always on the, the yellow team just to, to match my fur. And uh, the aim of the game is you need to try and stay in the center as much as you can uh, while trying to go and knock everyone out at the same time as well. And so you all hop down in boats and then you all go and bang into each other. You're not allowed to punch each other though. No shooting each other boats with arrows or swinging swords or any of those shenanigans. Uh, the stairs are over on this side, Amy. If you come over this way, this is how you go and get up. <laughs> I think they're all having a, a few chunk problems trying to get them loaded in at the moment. <laughs> Might make it good for me. Maybe they have not got the chunk loaded in in the middle and I'll be able to win. Uh, so we all climb up to these towers. Uh, we hop into our boats, then we, uh, then we go down. And I'm not sure. I believe that Squid's won one round of this and I've won another. And so maybe if one of uh, me or Squid wins, this could be the decider. I think we'll have, let's have three lives. You can get knocked out the middle three times. You've got three boats. And uh, once you've knocked out for the third time, that's you out. And then uh, you're not allowed uh, back in the middle. You need to get out your boat and uh, leave the game. Uh, so the way it works, uh, make sure you get a, a boat out of one of the, uh, the chests. Uh, you place it down on the lowest part, uh, right down at the bottom. If you can see me, Finball, you put a boat down there. Uh, you then hop in. Uh, you should slide towards the edge, but hopefully uh, not fall in. And then when everyone's ready, uh, we press the button and uh, that will push us into the middle. And last one left in the center wins. So let's begin in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. And oh no, I missed the button. I missed the button. Start again. Go, 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 go. There we go. <laughs> and we're all into the middle. Look at everyone go. Right. I don't know if I should do this in third person or first. I think in third person might be easiest. And Fimble might get straight out already. Go, he almost like burst straight out. You've got to be careful because that water in the middle, even though it's good to stay in the center, it can lift you up and push you out as Fimble uh, is experiencing. <laughs> we're all being very cautious. We're all being pansies. We're all not like banging into each other. Well, Amy's getting pretty close there, right? I want to get someone out. I'm not just going to, I'm not going to be defensive. I'm going to see if I can go take someone out. I've got your number, Amy. I'm going for you. Oh no, I just charged right past her. Actually, I think Squid's my nemesis, seen as um, he is uh, he is the expert at this. And oh no, he's going right up to the top. Oh, that is me right on the very edge. And Amy has gone down once. That is one life gone for Amy. Everyone else is doing well. Oh, I got a good nudge on Finball there. He's so nearly out. Can I go in for the kill? Can I go again? Amy's out again. That's two lives gone for Amy. Finball is is just about staying on. I'm charging in, but oh no, Squid's coming up behind me. I think Squid's gonna get me. Is there anything I can do? No, that is one down for me. So Amy's got one boat left. I've got two. Squid and Fimble both have three. And is that Fimble out? I think Fimble's just fallen out on the other side. So Squid is winning. I told you he was good at this game. I told you he was good. Right, everybody go for Squid then. Oh no, oh no, I'm gonna get pushed straight back out again. No, that's me down again. Uh, am I? Am I on? Yeah, I think, I think that's gonna count as me being down. And that's Amy down again. Amy is out. It's between me, Finball, and Squid. It's down to the men. Okay, right. I'm going to be very careful now because I have no more boats. If I fall out one more time, then that is me gone. Finball has two boats left, so um, he's doing okay. He's doing all right, but we're going to have to watch out for Squid. He has not fallen out once yet. I think we need to team up here, Finball. I think we need to team out to try and take out the slippery one. Right, I'm nudging him. Try and barge into him now. I've got him trapped. I've got him trapped. Good teamwork there, Finball. We've got him really close to the edge. I'm kind of scared just to go and push into 
him because I know I'm gonna miss him and just sail out myself. I really don't want to lose. No, 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 I'm getting right to the edge here. It's really hard to control these things. I'm gonna have to go and try and get him out though. If we're gonna get squid out three times, there's no point just hanging back. Right, I'm gonna go and try and loop around this side. Right, team up again, Fimble. You go one side, I'll go the other. Make sure he's got nowhere to escape to. He's coming your way, he's coming your way. I'm on his tail, I'm on his tail. I'm very slowly chasing after him. I got one nudge, that's another one. This is like pinball. Right, I'm going in to try and finish him off. One big knock. Is he gonna fall off? Surely he's gonna fall off. Surely he can't stay on. Is that him gone? How does he do it? How does he just stay on? There we go. There is Squid Dad one more time. And hello, Amy. <laughs> I think Amy's just happy because she found a big body of water to go in. Okay, so I got one boat left. Fimble has two boats left and so does Squid. So I need to knock them both out twice. Oh no, Fi oh, Squid's going for revenge. He charged straight for me there. I was able to stay in though. That was very aggressive. Did you see the speed he got? Right, let's go and try and get him out again. Then, oh, he's so close. He is so close. I want to be careful though. Uh, Fimble might be the black horse here. He might try and surprise us. Oh no, he's sailing straight off. Fimble, without any help from us, just sailed straight off the edge. <laughs> me and Fimble both have one boat left. And uh, Squid has two. We still need to team up then, Fimble. Sp uh, Squid still has the lead. Oh, no, don't go after me. Don't go after me, please. I don't want to lose. <laughs> I want to win this game. Oh, look, they're both banged into each other. They both went down. Oh, no, that's only Squid. We've all only got one boat left. Next person to go out, they're out completely. This is so close. I can't believe how close it is. Right then, all the all. Our truce is over, Fimble. Our truce is over. I'm playing to win. Is that him gone? No, he just about managed to stay in there. Squid is going to try and finish him off, though. I might be able to bang into them both. Is Fimble gonna go? No, he's just about stayed onto the edge there. He's coming back in for the attack, though. Right. I gotta be really aggressive here, right? Let's go and try and get Squid out. Let's try and get it down so it's just gonna be a 1v1. I've got him on the edge. He's trying to get back into the middle. I'm not letting him. I am not letting him get back into the middle. Lots of small little nudges. It's slowly gonna get him closer. Is that him down? That's him down! Squid's got taken out! He was winning for so long. It is down now to just me and Fimble. No, Squid, you gotta leave. You gotta leave. I think that I'm pretty sure that's you out three times. Uh, if not, I got it wrong. Oh, no, 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 no! That is me out. I think I've lost. I, I guess, I guess Squid and Fimble are, are still going then. Oh, did, did Fimble win? I don't know what, because Squid came back into the middle and Squid knocked me out. I guess I guess I must have counted wrong. <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. I don't know. Uh, I, let's just call it a draw between all four of us because we all had fun. That really confused me at the end there. Either Fimble won because he was the last one there, or Squid won because I was counting wrong because he came back in and not me. <laughs> I'm not sure. Whatever, we had fun though. And that's the end of this video here. Uh, in the next video, we'll hopefully be finishing off building the Berry Berry game. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!